Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about all the awesomeness going on at Google in the last week that developers care about but may have missed. First, let's talk about the coolest video I saw this week, the Google Data Center 360 degree tour. The tech in these data centers is amazing, and this video gives you a full cinematic VR experience by Sandeep, a developer advocate on the Google Cloud platform. And just for fun, watch the video using cardboard and try to spot the Google security guard in every shot. It's like a highly secure game of Where's Waldo with a backdrop of the coolest scaled computer architecture ever. The Node.js runtime on Google App Engine is going beta. Combining Node.js and App Engine gives you a great way to build web apps and mobile backends with JavaScript that also need to operate at Google scale. Check out the post to get started. The Google Code Jam is back. Now, this year is the 13th annual Algorithmic Global Coding Competition. If you like programming, winning, and competing for the $15,000 grand prize, make sure to sign up before the online qualification round on April 8th. The Game Developers Conference happened a couple weeks ago, and we hosted our annual Developer Day, where we announced new platform and ads tools for developers of all sizes. This post rounds them up, including one of my favorites, Search Trial Run Ads. Now, when users search for your games on Google, they can get an ad with a Try Now button that allows them to play your game right there for up to 10 minutes and then download the game in full if they choose. It's a great way to get users who are likely to stay engaged with your game after install. Now, since it's tax season for those in the U.S., I thought I'd also share this article found on opensource.com. Turns out, Senator Daniel Squadron and Senator Ruth Hassel Thompson have put forth a bill in New York that would provide a tax credit for 20% of expenses associated with the development of open source and free software up to 200 bucks. Now, let's hope this passes in New York so all you New York open source developers can upgrade your gear, and perhaps other states will catch on too. If you've been watching this show for a while or saw my chat with Josh Gordon a couple months back, you know that we're all really excited about machine learning. Last week at GCP Next 2016, we announced the alpha release of Cloud Machine Learning. It's a framework for building and training custom models to be used in intelligent applications. It allows you to build large-scale machine learning models on your data using TensorFlow. In addition to the deep learning capabilities that power Cloud Translate API, Cloud Vision API, and Cloud Speech API, we provide easy-to-adopt samples for common tasks like regression and classification. Check out the post for all the links to get started. And those are your updates for the week. Click the links in the description below, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe. After all, you don't want to be the developer who misses the coolest new platform updates across all of Google, right? Of course you don't, which is why I'll see you next week.